Embedded with barcode recognition software, radio frequency identification chips, and processing cards for security, industrial mobile devices need to be unbreakable as they are used in the field. Jin Seok Che reports on the niche market of industrial mobile devices. Guess what this terminal device is used for? Just scan the barcode with this device to pay and get the grocery delivery right to your door. This is the future of shopping demonstrated by SK using the NFC equipped industrial device. This commerce solution provides great benefits to both consumers and retailers. The consumers don't have to carry heavy items home, while stores don't need an inventory of thousands of products, nor large display floors. Meanwhile, the latest technology doesn't even require barcode scanning. Payments are made automatically via 3D cameras as the items are put on the cashier table. The main trend uh, in the U.S. market is automation, so their customer can come down and quickly pay and leave. So it's a higher throughput uh, transaction rate. Much Focuses for new devices for industrial uses have always been speed and efficiency. We call these industrial devices or handheld computers. Automatic identification and data capture or AIDC terminals that scan barcode and radio frequency identification or RFID and other types of industrial tablets all fall into this category. The devices are typically used by distributors in restaurants, department stores, toll roads and even government offices. With high technology barriers, only few large companies including America's Motorola Solutions and Intermac have dominated the market until quite recently. The market share of products with Made in Korea tags was very low in the 1990s. However, things have changed. Korean products have already widened their inroads into global markets. There are even such devices in city tour buses in the New York metropolitan area. This all-in-one mobile computer device that issues tickets and receipts is developed by a small company from Korea called Bluebird. Oh, okay. Much convenient, much convenient than the existing one. Because this one is lighter, it's durable, and you can handle it easy. It was 2002 when Bluebird entered the market with its all-in-one type mobile terminal. Bluebird's BIP-1000 series was the world's first printer-integrated terminal device equipped with Code Division Multiple Access or CDMA technology that supports mobile recognition and payments. Soon after, a number of domestic retailers started adopting the device. It didn't take long before it became the biggest terminal device by market share over any imported products. Soon after, Bluebird started to be recognized for its innovation in the global market too. Bluebird also became the first Korean supplier of such devices to one of America's largest department stores, Kohl's. One Bluebird device could support multi-tasks that only six devices including walkie-talkie, scanner, and payment terminal were able to process. Transaction is complete. Bluebird is the only company that's able to offer a full range of products in the industrial device market. Penetration into the U.S. market is what we've earned from continuous efforts with products that reflect today's trend. Bluebird is doing business with 120 countries and 3,000 end users. Customers include Pepsi, Disneyland, a number of airline and railway companies, and Chinese police. According to VDC research, it is now the world's fifth largest company by market share. What drove the developed pathway of Bluebird? Uh, in the last couple of times, we have taken Bluebird devices to customers. They have, first is the look, 
which Bluebird outbeats every competition in the market, be it Verifone, be it Ingenico, Bluebird is far superior. Quality-wise, technically-wise, they're extremely superior. After taking over Motorola Solutions, Zebra Technologies is competing with Honeywell to lead the market. Bluebird is trying hard to chase its competitors closely with its own take on the devices. Very attractive design, uh, very effective price points, uh, and of course, industrial strength, uh, which has been the unique, unique position. Bluebird made devices that were smaller and lighter, winning the company three big design awards. But the firm did not sacrifice substance in its pursuit of style. Each product has to go through very thorough and intensive tests because industrial terminals may have to operate in harsh environments. Now, typically, high altitude drop tests are conducted from 2.4 meter high, which is two to three times higher than those of other mobile devices. Bluebird has been trying hard to meet the unique needs of the industrial mobile terminal market with its flexible manufacturing system. Bluebird currently carries over 300 product lines highly customized for various customers. We've asked many companies to fix malfunctioning devices. Bluebird has always been the first to fix the problems. Bluebird once developed a device that supports two different operating systems for just one customer, a Japanese retail giant, Trial. We initially planned to release Windows version terminals first. Instead, we released an Android version to meet the needs of Trial. First, we worked on special printing technology. Bluebird's R&D spending accounts for 20% of its sales. The company employs nearly 70% of the workforce in its R&D division as well. Bluebird set up a global R&D center in India's Silicon Valley, Bangalore this August. They have also partnered with many global enterprises to improve competitiveness. Our aim is to become a total solution provider for both hardware and software. The R&D center in India is expected to become our strategic base as part of our efforts to expand the business in India, Europe, the Middle East and Africa. We're working hard to reach number one by 2025 in the industrial terminal field with these products. The global industrial terminal market is estimated to be 7 trillion Korean won or 6 billion US dollars. Industry experts now expect the market size can reach 10 trillion in just a few years. To face and win fierce global competition, Korea's advanced technology firms are taking one step at a time even today.